today we are going to be studying the compound microscope. With me today is my assistant, Francisco. Say hello, Francisco. Hi, Francisco. Hey. <laughs> you gotta focus on him now. Move over to him. Okay. Francisco's major job is to prevent me from hurting myself. He doesn't sound too excited about the job. Anyway, so how do we do this lab? This is our optical bench that we got so familiar with last week. That was fun, wasn't it? And we have two lenses that we're going to be using. An objective lens, which is the one closest to the light source, and the eyepiece, which is the other one, the one that would be like furthest from the light source. Because if it was closer, it'd be the objective. Okay, does that make sense? All right. We also have this guy here who looks like a soup ladle. Would you like some? No, thanks. Okay. This is going to be used to help us figure out the focal length. So what we do is we, we take, you have two lenses. The shortest length one is the objective. And the longer one then would be the eyepiece. So we put the shorter length one right here. And then it says, place the illuminated object at a distance two centimeters greater than the focal length. Well, I did that because you see, I know that the focal length of this guy is five centimeters. And so I put him at seven centimeters from the lens, okay? Then it says to locate the real image formed by the objective lens on the hooded screen. And what you do here is you move it back and forth and you can see it till it clear, till it nice and focuses. You probably can't see that too well on the video. It's all right, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> uh, because I'm not sure if I'm doing this right and I don't want you know, evidence that I'm not doing it right. So. Uh, yeah, okay, so that looks good right there. It's about, um, hmm, it says it's about 76 centimeters. Okay? Okay. And that was at 110, so this is 103, and this is 76 or so. Now we want to place the eyepiece on the optical bench so the, uh, the image formed by the objective, which would be in here, all right, it falls inside the focal length by about two centimeters. I might be wrong about this, but what I think this means is take this out and put this here at about 78 or so. And then we were looking at it, I gotta think about this a little bit more, but basically this is the setup you have here. And what you do is, if you look through the eyepiece now, wow, come here Francisco, take a look. No, 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 you're not Francisco, you're, you're Richard. <laughs> okay, All right. take a look Francisco, what do you see? Your fingers. Now what do you see? Uh, it's magnified. It's magnified, why would you suppose that would be the case? Magic? No, it's not magic, it's physics. Ah. All right. By the way, the secret password for today is toenail fungus. You can bring some with you if you want to. I, 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 you keep it, but you can bring it if you want. Um, now, when you do this, you get a whole bunch of numbers, and I gotta write up a data sheet that'll help you guide, guide you through this, because I'm still working on it myself, that'll help you determine the total magnification using equation three and one, which are on the first page of this thing. Don't worry, they'll be there. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here just yet. We might have to find, figure this out in the lab. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. <coughs> and it also says to, let's see, use your data to calculate the total magnification of your microscope. Derive equation three above, and then use your data to determine the total magnification using equations three and one. Use the thin lens equation to derive a value for the final image distance. That's the one over P plus one over Q equals one over F. Use this value to derive the magnification of the microscope completely. Blah, 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 blah. What the hell is this? Magnification, isn't that um, where you have to put? I can't remember it, but. 
we put the focus length of one over the focus length of the other, and that gives you a magnification of something. Uh, yeah, I think you're right on that, but the, it's quite... And this one. Well, that's DI, which isn't... The, is that the focal length? The here? distance. It's that's the distance here, not the focal length, though. No. Okay. So, well, this is the basic setup, though, that you have to do things with. The two lenses and the hooded the soup ladle. Okay? The important part here is that's how you do it. Uh, as for taking the data, let me work on this a little bit longer and see if I can figure out what we're going to need. It'll be in the spreadsheet, a little bit clearer. And hopefully by next year, I'll be able to make a better uh, video for this one. This is a pretty lousy video. I know. I admit it. But I think it's probably, I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's the fault of the cameraman. What do you think, Francisco? I think so, too. Yeah. We're all blaming Richard. you, Richard. This is your fault that we don't know what we're doing. I hope you can live with yourself. <laughs> 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 all right. So. Anybody got any questions? <laughs> I forgot that hurt. <laughs> I forgot. This is a video. You can't ask questions. So I will see you in the physics lab. You can hit the stop button now. <laughs>